Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to set up the CS4 for your initial fill with your coolant. And if you're in cold climates, make sure you're using antifreeze, not just straight water because you're going to freeze these compressors. I've come across a couple of them already that have been frozen. We don't want to do that. But to keep your compressor cool running, they have a tendency to get an air pocket in the top of the radiator. Uh, the reason for that, I believe, is because you've got both the in, inlet and outlet tubes coming in at the bottom of it. None of them are coming in the top, so you're getting an air pocket in the top. You might get lucky when you do your fill and you don't get the air pocket, but quite a few of them will get it, and you might not even know it's there. So, to get rid of it, it's pretty simple. I've already filled the water tank up. It's full right to where it comes in at. Then we're just going to turn it on here. It's hard to see, but the water is flowing through that. Now, take your compressor and tip it up. I don't know if you can see the bubbles ripping through there but you run it for a little bit and you're gonna get a lot of air coming out of there. Now believe it or not, I've had a couple of these compressors, I've actually dropped almost 20 degrees temp on them just by doing that. And it only takes, you know, 30 seconds. So if you guys got a CS4, CS4i, and on your initial setup, just go ahead Turn on the just turn on the water pump, tip it. I mean, if you got it super full, you might just throw your cap on here so you're not spilling water all over the place. But I should have showed you beforehand. It's kind of hard to see, anyways. It's down almost. I would say a good quarter inch or more, anyhow. But there's more air in these than people might realize, and just getting that out. Not only are you getting the air pocket out of there, you're getting a little more volume in your water your radiator is actually going to be functioning like it's supposed to because with the air at the top I've hit the I've hit the radar or the laser on these things on the on the temps and it's it's significantly different the bottom is really hot to the touch the top of the radiator it's cool so once this is done like I said you can exp you can see up to I've witnessed personally it was uh just about 20 degrees drop in temp just by doing that and Hopefully that helps some of you guys out that have got compressors that might be running hot. They might be running a little hot and you might not even know it. So check into that. I would do it with anybody that's got a CS4, CS4i, even if you've been running it and using it for a while. Just making that simple tip for, you know, again, 20, 30 seconds. It's going to make a big difference on your, on your guys' cooling. So hope that helps. Hope it's a quick note for you. Thank you.